In this video, we're going to look at how to enhance pages with right side column imagery. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open the subpage content. And you'll see the red dot just above the text content is to add column content. So you can kind of see this gray bar here that's sort of representing that column. And so anything we put into the column content will display here and basically be associated with the top of the text content. And so I just want to click on the column content. And you'll see that the window that appears has the same choices when we actually went through creating a new page. We're basically creating and connecting pages to this existing page to make it a little bit more complex. And so we want to pick. Uh, a new template that we haven't seen before. And once that refreshes and I scroll, you'll see that there's a whole series of call out content column elements. And we're going to look in various videos at all of these. So the one that I want to pick is image, but as you can see, we have audio, video, all kinds of different things. But here I would like an image. So I click it and it's recommended that you keep the name of the template. And then I will add something unique. So this is helpful because it still lets me know that this is an image and what page is it on. And again, these headlines for these elements don't show, but it's, it's nice to just name things uniquely. So I'll say OK. And when the page refreshes, you'll see that we've closed the subpage content. And now you see red dots for the actual image. Images, as you can see with the image above, you have an image and you have a caption. And it's sort of a pair. So here we have our image red dot and our caption red dot. So I'll do the caption first. So I just want to click on the red dot and we'll get the familiar text editor. So I'm just going to type in photo caption. As you can see, we can put HTML in the caption. For example, let's say I wanted to italicize something. It's the name of uh, a book that maybe a faculty member is holding or something like that. I can italicize. So I can put it in some HTML into the caption. However, the captions aren't really appropriate for headings and other types of text content like bulleted lists. It should be just something that explains what the photo is. So when I say OK, this will refresh, and we'll see the photo caption actually display in the gray bar. Next thing I want to do is add an image. Now, images for the column should be 333 pixels wide, but the height can have a varying quantity. So if you're adding a portrait, then it could be a much taller image. If it's a group photo, you can have something that's a little more landscape. So I'm just going to click on this pencil to navigate to Asset Manager. And so for you, you want to switch folder, and you want to choose the folder within Images All that's your department or your office. Since we're using SmartEdit as an admin, you see that there's a lot of choices. But for example, I'll pick the Hitchcock Center's category, just as an example. And here you can see a variety of images. We can, for example, look at them as thumbnails to get a little mini preview. We can also look at it as a list. And sometimes the list is helpful because you actually can see the full file name. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on an image if it's something that's existing that I want. And we're, again, we're looking for something that is 333 pixels wide. If you're uploading for the first time, we want to select the asset from the local file system in exactly the same way that we added assets, like a PDF, in the text editor. And so we would want to browse for the file and select it. I'm going to cancel here because I'm not going to actually going to upload anything. But then it would be added to this list, and then we would just want to pick it. So this picture, again, is 333 pixels wide. The height can be whatever it needs to be. And I'm just going to click OK. 
And when the page refreshes, you can see that the photo is above the caption and I'm complete. I also just want to submit the image to workflow so that when I publish this page, it will publish as well. Every single extra element to enhance pages, we want to make sure that we submit them to workflow and then they will publish successfully.